as you can see, uh, as a designer, I'm really interested in experimenting with uh, visualizing data in ways that are accessible and memorable pl and playful for a layperson audience who might just be uh, seeing data or understanding what data is for the first time. And this interest in physical and analog data culminated in a recent project with Georgia Lupi, the creative director of the Des information design agency Accurat, whose work is shown on screen. Now, uh, Georgia and I had met only twice in person uh, when we decided to embark on this incredibly laborious side project. But, uh, you know, we wanted to collaborate because we had a lot in common. Uh, firstly, we're both expats. Uh, George is an Italian living in New York, and I'm an American living in London. And then we're also both the same age, though I will leave that bit of mystery. And we are also both only children, though hopefully not too self-centered. And finally, and most importantly, we both don't code, but choose to work with data in a very handcrafted way in contrast to the standard use of computing and algorithms as part of the data visualization process. So we decided to challenge ourselves. Since data visualization was a language we spoke for work, we wanted to get to know each other better through this language and um, ideally in a hand-drawn way. So after a summer of emails back and forth, uh, we decided to take our biggest constraint, uh, that we were on two continents, and use it as our biggest asset. And so we came up with a project we called Dear Data, a uh, year of sending hand-drawn data postcards to each other. Starting on the 1st of September 2014 and lasting a year, every week we would collect data on a shared topic in order to uh, investigate and reveal aspects of ourselves and our lives to then share with the other person. Then we would analyze this data and then we would draw a visualization of this data on a postcard and when we were happy with it, we would drop the postcard in a mailbox or postbox wait with our fingers crossed, and if all went well, the postcard would arrive at the other person's address with all of uh, its scuff marks of its journey over the ocean, a type of slow data transmission where the Postal Service became our third collaborator. All postcards followed the same format. The front had no text. It was a hopefully beautiful drawing that could function as a standalone illustration if the viewer didn't know there was data behind it. And then the back had an address and stamp, of course, but also the legend explaining how to interpret the drawing. So each week uh, was an ex exploration of small data made incredibly personal due to its inherent imperfections where even our choices in data collection uh, manifested our personality for the other. And where uh, the constraints like the size of the postcard, the analog materials, and the weekly deadlines actually forced us to become more creative, challenging us to come up with 52 unique visual languages tailored to the 52 unique data sets we each collected, where over the year, we were effectively sending a fragmented self-portrait to the other person.